everybody, hope you're having a good day and welcome to my fairy haul. This was an unplanned video and so I'm not really prepared, bear with me. So I went on to Berry and got a few things, so let's take a look. I got a little bit more than I planned, actually, but nobody tell Mark. So everything is all still in its wrapper, I haven't seen anything. First up is a peplum dolly coat in tweed is what they call it and this was £55. Um, I like the funnel neck and I also, for a girl of my size that has a, um, bigger hips than anywhere, I kind of like these kind of um, shoulders to balance out things. Um, and then this is the, the pattern. I would call that more sort of herringbone than tweed, in my opinion. That's kind of not what I thought I was getting. I really like Very because they have a really good petite range um, and I'm quite short so um, I'm a big fan of petite ranges because things don't tend to fit where they're supposed to. So because I'm so short, what would be a waist on a normal person is actually kind of on more of a hip area for me and as that's the wider area, it just things just don't fit me very well. So I do like their petite range but I have to admit that this coat is not a winner, unfortunately. Kind of fortunately. I ordered this in petite and it's arrived in tall. Number one, this isn't tweed. Two, this isn't petite. And three, doesn't fit me too well, so it's going back. <laughs> so the packaging said petite as well, so it may just be the label of the coat that's wrong, but either way, I don't care, it doesn't fit. I don't care about what size I end up buying or wearing, it's, it's how it fits. Okay, so next up, I have a spotted peplum top from Lipsy. It was £12.16 in the sale, which is pretty good for Lipsy and it's quite stretchy and I thought this would be quite nice um, sort of with some black skinny jeans and some heels and just a, a nice little cardigan so I could wear it sort of casual but dressing up a casual outfit or you know you could wear it with a pencil skirt I think a skater skirt might be too much with the ruffles but um, peplums are a really good shape for me um, and they help hide some of my lumps and bumps. Next up is something else that was in the sale and this was £7.60 and I'd had my eye on it for a little while um, but it's difficult to know what sort of fabric it's going to be and how it's going to be. Now it's here, it's soft, it's quite stretchy and I love it. Um, maybe not the most flattering colour for someone of my size but I don't care and it is a poodle print jumper. It has three quarter length sleeves, a round neck, um, it's quite stretchy, it's incredibly soft and it has poodles all over it. I'm not a massive poodle fan but I am a huge dog fan so oh yay! I need to re-dye my hair because actually <laughs> my hair has faded so much that it actually needs re-dyeing but it, the ends of it are a perfect match <laughs> for this jumper. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing this jumper quite a bit in future videos because I love it and it's going to be great with um, jeans or even with skater skirts and things like that. Oh, I am very pleased with that and for £7.60 you can't go wrong. The next item is something from Colleen Rooney's range for Vary or Littlewoods because they're the same thing. Um, and this is a laser cut, I don't know if you can see. It's a laser cut skater skirt. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I thought I would give it a go because it was in the sale and it was um, £11 something. £11.40. So I thought I would give it a try and think that maybe, you know, with plain tops and things it could dress stuff up quite well. But um, it feels very thin. It, it is lined but it feels incredibly thin and I feel like it would tear quite easily. A little bit fragile. Maybe too fragile for somebody that has two dogs and is incredibly clumsy. So I only have two items left. One from Fern Cotton's range and one from Holly Willoughby's range. So this one's from Fern Cotton. It's a black brocade patch dress. It was in the sale for £13.68 which is uh, crazy because I have a few of Fern Cotton's dresses and they're usually around £50 or something like that. So, oh, 
No. <laughs> oh, I had high hopes. Um, okay, so it has a round neck, which I quite like. Um, it's stretchy, it's very thick and good quality. It has full length sleeves. Down the zip at the back is um, the brocade sort of detailing all the way down. And I like the attention to detail. Um, however, I'm just not sure about the way they've done the brocade patches on the front. I did wonder why it was so cheap in the sale. Um, and the reviews, some people said that it was like um, armour and it was a bit stiff. Um, I don't think that. I think it just looks like someone's got a, a sort of cheap brocade curtains or a cushion and cut off a bit of fabric and then just stitched it on top of a black dress, which is quite possibly what they've done. It just, and the placement's a little bit strange. I am a, I really like how they've done it around the neck and I really like how they've done it with a zip down the back and maybe less is more and they could have done something different with the touches. And uh, my final item is something from Holly Willoughby's range. I have quite a few uh, dresses from Holly Willoughby's range um, and I have a few things. I think this top may well be from there as well. Um, her, the styling of her dresses used to be very suited for women with an hourglass shape um, and they used to really suit me well. I've noticed the shapes sort of change with the most recent range. All of Holly's things come on coat hangers so bear with me while I just take it out of all the packaging. This wasn't in the sale because it's part of the new range and this was £55 which is quite a lot for <clears throat> excuse me, which is quite a lot for a dress that I would probably wear sort of casually but I thought that it might be something that I would get a lot of wear from Tartan Frill Hem Dress and the colour is in magenta is what they say so it has little um, sort of cap sleeves and then it goes into the skirt which has this is actually a tuck in the fabric but it looks like a little bit of peplum and then it frills out at the bottom with quite a lot of fabric, that's the width of the bottom. So there's quite a lot of fabric in the bottom and it can be quite swishy by the look of it. There's little frilly bits and then all that fabric at the bottom. It's quite a stiff fabric, it doesn't have any stretch in it, as you'd imagine. Um, and it's fully lined um, and it has a um, invisible zip all the way down the back. And they've done a really good job of making sure that the pattern matches so the zip is invisible. Um, so it's been really quite well made. They've done the same at the weather, the top of this, the dress and the skirt part of the dress. They've done the same to match up that there too. So it has been well made and well put together. And I really like it. Tartan is a big trend um, this year for, um, for autumn winter. And it's tartan and it's pink and it kind of has a skater skirt effect in the fact that there's a lot more fabric on the bottom and um, it's kind of fitted at the top. I, I can't see there being any better sort of tartan dress for me. Oh, I'm excited. I love it. Um, so, overall, a little bit of disappointment about the coat. Um, yeah, about the lipsy top. Love the poodle jumper. I'm going to send back the coat, the laser cut skirt, the fern cotton dress. I need to get all this stuff tried on and the things returned, put back in the box and back in the boot of my car. Hey, you're still here. Wow. Didn't expect anyone to make it to the end. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing a different type of haul from me. If there is any sort of video that you would like to see, uh, please let me know. I have had a couple of requests and they are on my to-do list and I will get around to them at some point. Thank you for watching, take care and I hope to see you next time. Bye!